chair. This looks one. <laughs> No way. You found the Xbox? Look at that. It's empty. <laughs> Just stall it. So it's here. The date has finally arrived. We are going to explain to you why we spend so much money on a storage unit. Say hi to the folks, Mauricio. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click that big red subscribe button down below and go ahead and click that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing because we're freaking fantastic over here. <laughs> yes, we are. We are on our way to the storage unit. As you can see from behind me, there is a lovely black leather sofa back there. So today I wanted to explain to you what exactly is involved with the storage unit, why we keep it, and why it is important that we keep it. So, first things first, the storage unit, as most of you know, we have been paying $355 for. Now, that amount is actually not one storage unit, but two storage units. What happened was when Mauricio's sister and her husband moved out of their apartment, they had a whole bunch of stuff. So there was not the space to keep their stuff from their apartment. So we rented a storage unit for them and they are now moving into their own place and we are we have moved everything out of the other storage unit so our storage unit bill actually will be going down so the storage unit that we have now is two hundred and seventy dollars so as you can see behind me this lovely sofa will not fit in their new apartment but we are going to fit it in our storage unit because we are not paying for an additional storage unit anymore period. So why do we keep the storage unit at $270? We figured out that mathematically we would be spending just over $3,250 every year to keep the storage unit and as of right now we're going to be in my parents house for three years which is just under $10,000. Now while I realize that is a enormous amount of money for us to pay all of our furniture is custom made I lived overseas for almost a total of 10 years and while I was there I got furniture made in every post that I was in and it's not furniture that we can replace easily for example when I was living in Nicaragua I actually had a bedroom suit made of custom walnut furniture Love that. So awesome. it is beautiful i designed it myself and i had it made it i paid a no joke a total of two thousand dollars for seven pieces of furniture in solid walnut for us to replace that it would be I'll post an amount down on the screen. I don't know right now, but I'm guessing at least $12,000, but I'll get on the internet and I'll insert some comparables to what I paid in various levels so you can see the difference in the prices. But I would guess it would cost us in the United States about $10,000 to replace that set alone. Our dining room furniture is a solid granite dining room table with custom leather chairs and we love it. It appraised for our insurance around $27,000. I don't know, le legitimately I don't actually think we could replace it. We also have some very, very, very nice pieces of artwork that we got while we were living overseas. And for example, the, the wine thing. I haven't even gotten there yet. Way back in the beginning when I first made, moved overseas, I decided I would purchase a piece of artwork from every place that I was stationed, no matter what. We haven't bought our Washington artwork, but getting out of debt is way more important. For example, I bought a piece of artwork when I was stationed in Los Angeles. I bought it at an art fair in Santa Barbara, and I just love it. The guy made it custom for me, and I think I paid like $300 for it at that time. Um, 
one of the paintings that we have is a Nicaraguan artist who was fairly famous and I believe he died recently but I paid I think $750 for that painting and it uh, recently appraised at um, $7,000, $8,000, I don't remember. But the guy made the painting specifically for me. I told him kind of what I wanted and he made it. And we'll be, if we can find pictures of all these things, I'll be inserting them so you can see what I'm I talking bet, about. I bet they're going to tell you sell the stuff and pay all the pay all day. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> Wait, not up in it. Another thing that we have is we have this amazing solid that? onyx wine rack. A solid onyx wine rack. And when I say solid, I mean like like one solid slab of onyx and it is probably what eight eight inches thick, ten inches thick. It's a huge wine rack. Hopefully Mauricio has a picture of it. And it weighs, no joke, four tons. Four tons. It can fit a lot of wine, a lot more wine than we actually drink. just wine rack <laughs> we have a Tempur-Pedic mattress in there which is easily replaceable we couldn't sell it for what we we would have to pay to replace it is there anything else in the house that we have that we absolutely love that we wouldn't we have the fish tank oh yeah the fish tank we have I I, I don't even know. Water. Yeah, in, when I was in Colombia, I lived by myself and I love fish tanks. Love, love, love fish tanks. I had a custom made fish tank while I was there. I think I paid like $500 for it, but it's easily a thousand gallons. It's like a wall fish tank. It's huge. So that has stayed in storage since Bogota. We had it in our garage when we lived in Baton Rouge. And then when we moved to Mexico, it went to long term storage. And you know it's in the states that will be ridiculously expensive to maintain so we might consider selling that down the road um but that i would be willing to sell but we'd have to get it out and put it together and there's nowhere for us to do that right now so that we could sell it there are a few things probably in there that we would sell but for right now i mean we're going to pay for the storage unit so we'll just keep them in there for now And this is, of course, Melly's room with the Christmas tree. With Melly's tree. Basically, what we did as we were moving out of Mexico, we, we evaluated the things that we could replace and the things that we couldn't replace. 
and we got rid of all of the stuff that we thought it would be easy to replace for example melina's bedroom furniture was restoration hardware Venga. A little bit. It was one of those converter sets. And truthfully, I hated it. I have a hate-hate relationship with Restoration Hardware. Their furniture is horrible quality and it's expensive. And we bought this furniture because we thought it would be awesome and it was not. So we were able to sell it in Mexico almost for what we paid for it. I mean, I think we lost like a couple hundred dollars on it because they don't have Restoration Hardware in Mexico. And so we were able to sell that. The stuff that we would be easy for us to replace we sold so everything that came up from Mexico was stuff that would be impossible or extremely difficult for us to replace or would cost us significantly more so if we did the math we did the math a lot and we legitimately sat down and debated what we were gonna sell what we weren't before we left Mexico. And these are the things that are not replaceable to us and we don't want to sell them. We love them and we couldn't buy them again. Does so, me? no, I would definitely sell you if I could, definitely. But I wouldn't bring in enough money to pay off my debt. <laughs> Hell, I wouldn't even, I, would, I wouldn't bring in enough money to pay off anything. It'd be, it'd be like 50 bucks and then like two weeks later, they they want me to return you. No, nobody would pay a million dollars for you, I promise. Anyway, so we are well on our way now because it's been like 15 minutes. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the ride up and then I will film a little more once we get there and you will be amazed. Okay, you really won't. But bunch of boxes. I, it's really just a bunch of boxes in a gigantic storage unit. So the reason that we have our storage unit where we do is we price them out when we were first getting storage units and the storage units in our town cost about $750 a month for the same size storage unit and since the, the stuff we keep in the storage unit is not stuff that we are accessing while we live with my parents, we didn't see the point in paying such an expensive amount every month just to have our stuff really close by. So this ginormous thing right here is actually the entire fish tank, the whole thing right there. So we've got furniture. Look at this. Can you see this? Okay. I don't think you can see all the way to the back, but those are our dining room chairs. I love how everything's in Spanish in here. This over here, this is the table. And this is the buffet thing. Yeah, the buffet. And see, let's see if we can look and see how far back this goes. Don't you want to climb up there? That's the ch some of the chairs for the... This is like the end chairs for the sofa. The, this right here, if you look at the end of our dining room table, we have double wide wing back chairs that are this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous gray leather. It's like a taupe color. And oh, here's the top to the fish tank. You're not looking for your Xbox. Chair. Xbox One. <laughs> no way. You found the Xbox. Look at that. Oh, thank you. 
I'm sorry, I need to get a picture of that dance again. Did you bring your knife? No. Mommy, my day. What is in some of this stuff? I think these are my parents. Yeah, no. These are things that are not ours. You wanna see this? You packed it in the box. Oh, that's bad. I don't think so. That is not a good sign. I can't believe they stole my freaking Xbox. Man. I can't either. But if they stole that and that's the first thing we found, what else did they steal? And now we're going to Sonic. Let's see how the accent goes. Oh, it so just kills me every time. Welcome to Sonic. My name is Luke. What can I get for you, sir? Hey, Luke. How are you doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? Uh, pretty good. Okay, let me try these, man. So, what I want is a number one with mayo and ketchup. And now Let's do something. Let's see who, who gets the most brain freeze until we're done with this. No. I'm not going to participate in that kind of debauchery. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I just tell you how irritated we are that they may have stolen our Xbox? We were told that this might be an issue coming out of Mexico, that they frequently steal stuff when they pack you out. Um, the issue for us is because it's been two years since we moved, um, our insurance for the move obviously is not going to cover it. We do have insurance on the storage unit, but the storage unit wasn't at fault. So I don't know how we're going to deal with this, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to wait and file a claim. We have it on video of us opening the box. And we're just gonna wait and file and wait until we move into our own place see what else is missing and then deal with it then so we're gonna drop off this lovely she's lounge at um, Mauricio's sister sister's place and then we are gonna go back home and do some food prep for the week and Mauricio is going to be grilling tonight and I think I'm gonna have to run to the grocery store too if you are new to my channel, go ahead and click. No, look at the camera over there. It's so beautiful. I'm going to kill my husband today. He's going to die. It'll be the end of his life. You are witnessing the death of Mr. Mauricio Valencia. Dude, you shouldn't say that. That's just, you shouldn't be doing that one day. Why? What if something happens to me? Like I kill you? <laughs> like in the immediate future. Like something happens to me from here until we get home. Okay. I would like to state for the record that I am not actually going to kill my husband. It is merely a figure of speech. You better chew with your mouth closed on TV. Better. YouTube's not TV. Last time, if you interrupt me again, I'll kill you. Make sure you click on my big laugh. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. I can't get through this. All I want to do is okay, record a simple little 20 second outro. Watching this video is my latest one. <laughs> This video. What being is what are you talking about? <laughs> if you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe. And I'll put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one. And this video is one YouTube picked out just for you. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!